Hey guys, today I'm doing my first commentary video on Dexstorm Duel of Guardians. I apologize for putting so many videos out where I wasn't talking and just opening cards, but it makes more sense to put out the card opening videos when I open them, rather than after you've already seen me using them in other videos. So let's get right into this video with tips on how to build up your deck as a newer player. This is going to be as in-depth as I can make it, and hopefully we cover a lot of good stuff. This isn't going to be strategy, just focusing on obtaining stronger cards. Okay, so when you start off in deck storm, you have like one 5 star card that you get to start with, and then a bunch of weaker ones. Whether or not you plan on buying any soul gems, one of the main targets you want to aim for are the starter packs. I'm saying this first because they are the only packs at the moment that guarantee you a 5 star fully evolved card when you buy them. I'm also saying this because you can easily get enough soul gems to get them by playing the game a lot without needing to buy anything. I have another video making that will talk about all the ways to get soul gems from in-game activities. The next thing I'm going to mention are quest puzzles. What these are, if you haven't done any, are groups of tasks that give you a reward when you complete all of them. The end rewards that I've gotten so far were cards. As you can see, the rewards you get from just completing the individual tasks are also very good and will help you increase the strength of your cards you already have. The card you get from quest puzzle number one is kind of meh, but the one you get from quest puzzle 2 is really essential to building your deck this early on. That card is a 4 star backbone fully evolved and he has over 300 HP when you get him at level 1. The card makes a pretty good tank but lacks speed, but still overall it's just a really good complement to any uh, newer player's deck. I actually had my backbone as my leader for a while. Quest puzzle number 3, which I'm working on finishing, appears to give a 4 out of 5 star card. Another thing that is useful is to complete stages of the special campaigns to gain essences and runes, and then use these to boost the stats of your existing cards. In particular runes, when you get them, because you can move them around later on. Uh, so you always want to have them on cards to increase your stats. You want to get as many runes as you possibly can to cover all of the cards in your deck. Next, you want to collect star stones and get star stone packs. You could go to the bazaar and see if they offer ca cards for star stones that you want, but most of those aren't that good in my opinion. Now there are a lot of lousy cards in the star stone packs too, but there are some 4 star ones in there that you can get. To me, the packs are a better value than the cards in the bazaar. In particular, these packs are a really good way to build up variety in your deck so that you have some different uh, types of cards to adjust your deck for different campaign missions. So how can you get 5 star cards then? Well, you can go through the campaign and there are cards in there that you can capture that are 4 and 5 star but are missing some of the stars. These are hard to capture, but when you do, then you just have to focus on trying to get duplicates or using Sunstone from the quest puzzles and arena to get fusion cards. Then you can use the duplicates or fusion cards to fill in the missing stars, and you have yourself a 4 or 5 star card. I've talked to some people who just also saved up their soul gems and then used them on the starter packs to get the guaranteed 5 stars, and then people who saved up uh, the free ones and were able to get the celebration pack for a possible uber on. So that's very doable if you play a lot and save them up. It's worth noting that there are also some partially empty 4 star cards that you can obtain from the first half of the Trial of the Provenance. You can also get some runes and essences in the special campaign as well. Special campaigns are the place where you'll get runes and essences oftentimes from the loot chests. From here let's move into research. Research takes time, but it's very easy to reach some of the epic rune rewards in just a couple of days. These are extremely useful runes that you want to get as soon as possible. The great thing about research is that you can have multiple things being researched at the same time, given they are in separate research categories. 
The runes you get from these research trees are epic runes, and they'll give a good boost to whichever card you put them on. So, to recap the video, the main priorities are to focus on getting all of the cards from the daily quests, and the quest puzzles that is, using the free gems to get the starter packs and other packs if you can, using research and special campaigns to get runes and essences for your whole deck, and capturing cards from the campaign with high star potential. Of course, you want to level your cards up, but this happens as you play the campaign. Obtaining uh, Sunstone, Darkstone, and all of the other special resources when you have the opportunity will also help. Sunstone can be used to get fusion cards and runes, which are both important, and Darkstone can be used to get essences to give permanent stat boosts to your cards. Finally, make sure to get your free 3 Star Stone pack daily. I actually got a 3 out of 4 card from that pack a few days ago, so it's not as bad as some people think. Let me know if I missed anything, and I'll try to make some more Deck Storm videos soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you found something useful.